<laughs> As 2021 begins, many couples may be feeling hopeful about their big day. So the Twin Cities Bridal Show returns to the St. Paul River Center this Sunday. And joining us live to talk about some of the biggest trends of the season, the wedding guys, Matthew Treadle. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. How are you guys? We're doing well. All right, we're, let's uh, be hopeful. And there might be a lot of hope in the air for couples right now because we see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. And maybe it's okay to start planning a wedding? Yeah, we're definitely seeing couples um, getting in gear now. It feels like we're about to turn a corner here. And most of the couples that got engaged over the holidays are actually looking for uh, wedding dates that are going to be either very late in 2021, but actually most of them are looking for 2022 dates at this point. And I would think that there would probably be a lot of couples who maybe were supposed to get married in 2020, and now they've moved it to, to this year. So they're obviously tweaking and changing things anyway. Uh, let's talk some trends. You say bold decor is going to be kind of the name of the game this year. Yes, it's super exciting. Because weddings are smaller, we're finding that couples are investing more in their wedding experiences for their guests. And bold decor is really huge right now. We have a couple of images just to uh, show viewers kind of the, the looks that couples are going for. I love the pop of color in this. These are some beautiful rental chairs from B Things Rentals. Um, bringing that color in with soft seating is really fantastic. And because you have smaller groups, doing lounge settings is really fun. Um, this is a very bohemian look. Um, Living walls are really popular. This is a really great backdrop that can work great for a photo station or a backdrop for a head table. Um, notice the bright colored chairs as well, which is really random um, and fun. Um, and this is a really highly stylized bar. Um, we're finding that couples are really trying to create experiences and things that are really Instagrammable. Um, and everybody likes to congregate around the bar for weddings. It's kind of like the kitchen at home, like everybody goes to the kitchen while everybody's around the bar at the, yeah. at the wedding reception. So it's a really great opportunity to invest a little bit more in that space because that's where people are going to be hanging out. So bold details, smaller weddings make sense. Uh, well, let's go now and talk about the other thing, the dress, the wedding dress uh, and fashion. You're seeing a lot of non-traditional and also some minimalist choices. What is the trend in wedding gowns? So because weddings are smaller right now, um, brides are choosing to do stuff that is a little bit more tra um, non-traditional. Um, and so we're seeing um, short dresses are really hot. So think about what people used to wear maybe going to um, the courthouse to get married. Um, it's kind of that similar um, aesthetic. Um, so this is a beautiful gown by um, Colby John Couture. Um, again, um, a little bit more traditional, but it's, it's definitely more understated um, and more simple. Okay. And I know we have a couple other dresses as well to take a look at. I believe so. Yeah. Let's uh, if we can see those pop up. Oh, there we go. I love this. So if you want to do something that feels a little bit more period, so thinking about having a wedding that's maybe in a speakeasy, um, like a smaller, more intimate um, thing, and hearkening back to like the 1920s or 1930s. Again, what you're seeing here is it's uh, the it's very minimal in the adornment of the dress, but it's got some really great um, attention to detail, like the high neckline and um, the sleeves, which are just amazing on this. Again, um, we're seeing jumpsuits are huge right now. Um, people are really looking outside of the box of the traditional wedding dress, but still want something that is flowing and fun. Um, and this is a really great um, look from Savannah Miller. And much more comfortable. Uh, <laughs> you talked about the attention to detail in those dresses. Um, you're also saying there's you know, a lot of attention to kind of the smaller things, the detailed things as far as the, the day as a whole. What, what are you seeing? Yeah, so we're seeing um, people that are investing more like in floral. So you're going to see a lot more um, on tablescapes and little details. I love this um, napkin that's tied into this beautiful knot and an acrylic place card, um, which is really unique. There, it's all about really creating those um, Pinterest worthy images. And so people are really thinking about the small details. Look at how beautiful this tablescape is. And again, a lot of um, receptions are happening outdoors. Um, and this is a beautiful, um, long, it's extended table for all of the guests, but look at how lush and beautiful the florals are. Okay, and, and we should mention you, you are taking precautions for the bridal show. People will be, I'm assuming, masking up, social distancing will be encouraged. 
one-way aisles. We'll we have stickers on the floor so that people can manage the six-foot um, social distancing. We do temperature checks as um, people co are coming in the doors, and that uh, accounts for not only attendees, um, but all the exhibitors, all of the River Center staff. Everybody um, goes through that COVID protocol. Um, safety is really important to us, obviously. Um, and we've already had our first um, show during COVID back in September, and it was super successful. And we got rave reviews from the attendees on how much our attention to detail was um, in making sure that the show was safe for them. Yeah, good news. Matthew, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Twin Cities Bridal Show is Sunday at the St. Paul River Center. Tickets are still available. Just go to theweddingguys.com.